Hey, what's going on? My name is Joe, and if you've seen the new Black Panther movie, then you know that Denai Guerrero's character, Okoye, really steals the show. There's really only one Okoye action figure available right now, and that's the Marvel Legends Build-A-Figure version, which will force you to spend $100 on figures you may not actually want in order to complete her. So if you're like me and you wanted Okoye represented in your collection somehow, but you didn't want to buy the entire wave, and you didn't want to have to fight with other collectors on Evil Bay for loose Build-A-Figure parts, I think I may have an easier, less expensive option for you. So let's get started. Cheers. Alright, so I'm not a big fan of the Build-A-Figure gimmick in general. In fact, the only two Build-A-Figures that I've ever completed are the Toys R Us exclusive Jubilee and the All-Father Wave Odin. The Jubilee figure is really cool, but the Odin figure is very disappointing. And on top of that, I took a beating reselling the Sentry and Iron Fist figures I had to buy in order to complete him. In order to build the official Marvel Legends Okoye Build-A-Figure, you would have to buy five $20 figures. The new movie Black Panther, Eric Killmonger, Nakia, Black Bolt, and Namor the Submariner. The new Iron Man figure does not come with a Build-A-Figure part for Okoye. So I was on the fence about this Iron Man figure until I saw him in person. And I'm really glad I picked him up because he's now one of my favorite Iron Man figures. I legit wanted this new Namor because I didn't have a classic Namor figure in my collection with the green Speedos. I already had the MCU Black Panther from Captain America Civil War. And I prefer that costume design over this new one. So I wasn't planning on picking up this figure either. I wasn't going to buy an Ikea or a Killmonger because I didn't know very much about the characters until I saw the movie. I like them both a lot, but I'm still not really interested in the Killmonger figure because he looks just like a gold-colored clone of Black Panther. And finally, my interest in the Inhumans only goes as far as Medusa. The only thing I've ever seen Black Bolt do that was cool was blow the symbiote off a Tyrannosaurus Rex in Old Man Logan. So I'm not at all interested in spending $20 on a figure of him. So after we saw the movie, I thought about it for a while, and I was like, it would be really cool to have figures of Nakia and Okoye, and even though I had the arms that came with the Namor figure, I'd still have to spend $40 on a couple of figures I didn't want. And then finally it dawned on me that I could just buy two of the Nakia figures and the new movie Black Panther and just slap the Okoye head on one of the Nakia figures. So that's what I did. Now this isn't a perfect solution because obviously some of the costume details and the color scheme are significantly different between Nakia's and Okoye's costumes. So if you're really diehard about screen accuracy, then this will not work for you. However, I genuinely prefer the bright reddish orange and silver color combo on the Nokia figure over these Build-A-Figure parts. I really like the silver bits on this Nokia figure, especially the shoulder pad, the panther head belt buckle, and the boot cuffs that look like an accordion. The torso for the Okoye Build-A-Figure has different paint apps, including some dry brushing on her chest and abdomen, but the Build-A-Figure legs are more plain looking than these. And I think the colors pop more on this figure. So if you're like me and you didn't want all the figures in this wave, and you're willing to overlook the discrepancies in the costume designs, I think this is a solid option for an Okoye Build-A-Figure on a budget. You only have to buy three figures to build this slightly inaccurate Okoye figure, because Black Panther comes with the Okoye head sculpt, and Nakia comes with Okoye's torso and her weapons to complete the look. I think the skin tone of the Okoye Build-A-Figure head sculpt matches the neck and the hands of the Nokia figure closely enough that you shouldn't have to worry about repainting them. I'm sure that Hasbro probably did this on purpose, but the ball peg that these heads snap onto is slightly larger on the Nokia figure than it is on the Okoye Build-A-Figure torso. You'll probably have to heat the Okoye figure's head with some hot water or hair dryer to stretch out the socket and pop it on the ball peg snugly. But as you can see, the Okoye head fits just as well on a Nokia body as the Nokia head does. There's no more of a gap between the budget Okoye's head and neck as there is between the Nokia figure's head and neck. And just for fun, in case you were interested in picking up multiple Nokia figures and doing some head swaps to army build your Doro Milaje bodyguards, here's a Nokia figure with a Thor Ragnarok Target exclusive 2-pack Valkyrie figure's head on it. And here's the Nokia figure with a Toys R Us exclusive Mohawk Storm's head. The Valkyrie figure's head is a little too large to fit on this Nokia figure, which stands to reason 
since Valkyrie isn't as guardian, and they're typically larger than a human being. But I guess you could fudge it if you really wanted to. I think the Storm head fits pretty well, but that Mohawk look is kind of trademark Storm, and it might stand out a little too much in your display. Unfortunately, I don't have a Misty Knight figure, or else I'd try to pop that head onto the Nokia figure as well. But hopefully this at least gives you an idea. So there you have it. If you only collect movie figures and you wish you could skip Namor and Black Bolt without having to resort to eBay for their Build-A-Figure parts, or if you want to skip the single-carded Eric Killmonger figure in favor of the two-pack version with the unmasked head, then this budget Okoye figure may be a good option for you. I hope you found this video entertaining and informative. I really appreciate it if you'd like this video, share it with your friends, leave a comment down below, and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this in the future. So until next time, take care. Wakanda forever. Bye.